Hey builders, what's up? I'm Brad, and welcome to My Simple Builds. For those of you that don't know, I live in the St. Louis area. Well, there's one radio station that I really enjoy, and the morning show has me laughing every time I hear them. We're talking about The Courtney Show with Brando, Chris, and of course, Courtney Landrum. Recently, the team posted some pictures from their sister station, WIL, of some great new graphics for their wall. Of course, Courtney had to say, hold our beer, and posted this picture. And I thought to myself, this just can't happen. Not in St. Louis. We need to have something better. So I reached out to Courtney and asked, hey, Courtney, can I make you a sign for your show? Well, after some waiting, I finally got a response. And this is what she said. So for today's simple build, we're going to make Courtney a sign. One of the nice parts about a CNC is you don't have to be very artistic. I'm not very good at drawing out letters or anything like that with paint. And so cutting out these letters on the CNC has made this job so much easier. We're gonna lay this sign out and get it ready for framing and go ahead and get the other back colors put on here. And one of the ways that we're gonna do this is I, I cut the frame out on the CNC I'm gonna mark the corners and then I need to go back and basically clear away the paint from the outside edges. Now I could have masked that off from the very beginning. Wood glue is great for adhering two pieces of wood, but when you've got a painted surface, you need to remove that surface so that it has something to adhere to. So in this case, we're gonna stick down the frame piece that we cut out of the CNC. I'm gonna line it up around the edges. I'm just gonna go ahead and mark the corners. I'm not really too worried about these pencil marks showing up because we're going to paint over um, those areas with blue paint later on just to go ahead and finish that uh, design for this particular sign. Now one thing to keep in mind when you're going when you're painting these surfaces and we're going to correct this with a, a different solution but uh, plywood in particular when you paint a surface it'll tend to bow out in the direction of the paint. Now this particular plywood had a primer on the back, so the paint, is the, the bowing is not as bad from applying that paint, but it still caused a little bit of bowing. And that's basically due to the moisture that's in the paint getting sucked into the wood grains and causing them to, uh, to loosen up a little bit and expand. So when we go to, to finish up this sign, I will put a, a brace across the back that's also going to serve as a method of hanging the sign. So um, we're going to go ahead and I got the marks on here. We're going to go ahead and get these corner edges sanded off.
woodworkers out there. Um, I'm looking for a way to store all of these alligator clamps. Um, I got a whole bunch of these for Christmas and uh, right now they're just in a cardboard box because I really don't know how to store them. So if you have any suggestions, please comment below. I'd love to see what you got. All right, that's it. We've got the frame glued on there and uh, it's all clamped up and ready to go. So uh, we'll give it some time to dry and we'll be back. All right, so with this build, um, I'm trying to follow off the, the logo that they have for the Courtney show. Um, it's a pretty simple, pretty simple design. Essentially, what it appears is it looks like somebody took a paint roller and outlined um, where the sign should be and then put the Courtney show in the center of that. And so we're not going to be able to duplicate that exactly because it does look like paint marks. But I'm trying to get as close as possible. And part of that is going to be just to get, to get the shape of the little outline that, that covers the Courtney show. So to do that, for now what I'm going to do is lay it out on a piece of paper and just try to get a representation of where the lines are at so that I can uh, get it as close as possible to the original sign. It's not going to be exact, and, and you know I would never have been expecting it to be exact. If I was going to do that, I would have just printed it out on a vinyl and handed it a sign. But that's not a point, the point of this build. The point of this build is, is basically just to show how you can turn something into a piece of art or, or a functional uh, product, um, which is a few simple steps. So... For starters, what I'm doing is I'm laying down a couple pieces of paper to kind of get that general shape. I know that it's going to kind of cover most of this box, and that's okay. Um, I'll adjust the, the paper later. But for now, I just want to kind of get a general feel for what it's supposed to look like. So that's not too bad of, a, of an outline. Um, I think we can squeeze that in. One of the things that I've noticed is that this really does stretch from one side to the other. So what I will probably do when I go to paint this is just go ahead and pull the paper out just a little bit further. Again, they don't have to be exact, but I just want to make sure that we, we kind of cover Um, I want to make sure that we want that we get as much of the sign of the lettering centered as possible. You know, the outside pieces that go around it are not as critical. Um, what's important is the is the name that's on here. So with that, what I'm going to do is just do a rough sketch around the outside edge. And that's going to just tell me where the, the white needs to be. And one thing that I'm going to do to give myself a little bit of a marker so that I know where the sign is sitting, I'm just going to mark the edges a little bit. Especially on the, on the front and back here. Because what I don't want to happen 
is to have the blue letters over the top of the blue paint and they just not show up. All right. So pretty simple. Let's go ahead and get painting. All right, so the paint dried up pretty nicely and we're going to go ahead and get this thing uh, marked up for the lettering. Uh, to start with, basically just laid out a piece of tape and, and found the center marks for the sign. Uh, we just want to make sure that the wording is centered as closely as possible. I know that I previously had said that you want to remove the paint from the wood so that you can stick down the lettering. However, in this case, since we're just putting the letters on, I found that it was okay to go ahead and use CA glue to glue the letters in place. And the big difference there is, is that with the outside edge, we wanted to make sure that we closed off the seams between the two pieces of wood so that it basically came out as one piece. To finish up this project, I laid down a vinyl decal of the Arch logo and applied a clear acrylic over the top. To finish up the sign, I put a nice blue splatter across the sign to match the original artwork. Finally, I finished up the project with a nice clear coat over the entire sign. The purpose of today's build was to get back to more of a maker mentality and do something for fun. With some of my previous builds, it's been more about making my shop more functional, and there's plenty of builds already like that on YouTube. So if you enjoyed this video and like to see some more Maker content, please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so that you can be notified when I post my next video. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'm Brad, and this has been My Simple Builds. The whole purpose of today's video is video. Today's video. Wow. The whole purpose. And of course, Courtney. Wow.